What's going on with Colby Covington is a question that I get asked all the time. I mean, it seems like if somebody wants to know something about Colby and they can't get a hold of Colby, they come to me. I think that largely stems from the fact that I've known him since he was nine years old and we're both Oregon guys and a lot of people think that I'm, I'm in Colby's business. I will tell you this though, if Colby's doing something, if Colby's out there stirring the pot and having fun and getting something going, I've never gone to him and I won't to find out if he's working or if he's shooting. I don't, I, I, he doesn't need to pull that curtain back for anybody, including me. Don't worry about what's on the test. Sometimes you got to just listen during the class, right? This one's a little bit different. Look, I'm talking about Masvidal. I'm talking about Colby versus Masvidal. There is three things through the history of combat that make for the biggest fights that you've ever seen. And that doesn't matter if you're talking boxing or you're talking mixed martial arts. The biggest fights in history will have one of three things. Ethnicity, nationality, or personal grudge. Every single one of them will have one of those three things. If you could have two of those ingredients, oh my goodness. If you could have all three, and I can't think of a fight that's ever had all three, uh, forget it. Forget it. You're going to set the world on fire. You're going to set records that have never been done. But every big fight is going to have one of those three. When you want to talk about personal grudge, I don't think that there's anything bigger that is out there right now or that we have possibly ever witnessed in history like Colby versus Masvidal. This is very real. And I will share with you, and you can call me a mark, when it first started, I thought, I thought they were just working. I thought maybe they were like sitting in a room together being buddies, ha ha ha, and going back and forth. I thought it was make-believe. I mean, we've seen that before. 50 Cent and Floyd Mayweather got into something Try to build some brand and 50 was selling something, a wine or a Chablis or something, something like this. So it wouldn't be as though the first time two buddies got together and, and, and pulled a ruse. But I never asked Colby straight up, hey, is that what's happening? I just started to observe things. I talk with Dan Lambert every now and then. I start to hear that, no, this is getting weird and we got to have different private times. And Colby has to come in this door and George has to come in this door and George has to leave this door and Colby has to go this. I start hearing these things. And go, okay, this is either a giant conspiracy that everybody's in on, or this is real. And the realness, you know, you have to back up to their history. The first time I ever saw Colby at a UFC event, I didn't even know he was coming. We were behind stage, and he tells me, yeah, I'm here to corner, and he points to George Masvidal, which turned out not only was his teammate, not only was his training partner, was also his roommate. These guys were very, very close. There's videos out there on YouTube right now that you could go look. I would, I would encourage you to do it. It's actually a lot of fun. But where these two are at home and decide they want to get a workout, they take their shirts off. They move the coffee table. Masvidal goes and puts on headgear. It's actually, it's very comical, but he puts on headgear so he doesn't get his ears swollen. They go at it in the living room. They're smacking into walls. They're going into the ground with some camera set up. This wasn't an easy workout. I'll put it to you that way. I mean, this was very intense. And this was in their living room. Right? I mean, when Hulk and when, when Hawk and Animal break up, you kind of got to go watch the match. When the superpowers break up and Hogan and Macho Man are, are going to go headline WrestleMania, you kind of got to go watch the match. That's exactly what's happening here. So fast forward, state tournament in Oregon was in February, state tournament. Colby's father is one of the top ranking referees in the state of Oregon. So when the state championship comes around, he always gets assigned. Always. Very respected official. My partner, Kevin Keeney, goes up to Colby's dad and goes, hey, by the way, you know, you got to tell me something. Colby and Masvidal, is this real or do these guys really have a problem with each other? And Colby's dad goes, oh no, it's, it's very real. He said, yeah, I... I could tell you the whole story behind it, but it's very real. Largely just comes from a competitive standpoint, but it's very real. That's how Colby's dad talks. He's very calm. He's very matter of fact, very straight face, looking in the eye, answer your question. So Kevin comes over and tells me that. He goes, hey, man, this is really real. I said, yeah, man, I'm, I'm starting to feel this same thing. So go back to American Top Team, Dan Lambert. Dan Lambert had to put in policies in place for the gym, particularly because of Colby. Because Colby was go he was going after his own team. Colby go after anybody. I mean, he truly is the Stone Cold Steve Austin of MMA. He stands on an island by himself. You got your good guys and you got your bad guys. You, you got your heels and you got your baby faces. And then you have Stone Cold Steve Austin. Or in this case, you have Colby Company. He hates them all. 
The good guys all stick together in the back, and the bad guys all stick together in the back. And then you have Colby. He doesn't give a damn which side you're on. He's his own island. I love it. I mean, for me, it's very interesting. The other side of it is, look, Masvidal ain't going anywhere either. No, nobody's ever punked George Masvidal, and it's not going to start now. I would be very interested as this develops, and it does seem to me that th th this fight just simply has to happen. It just simply has to happen. Is it after Masvidal and Kamara? Yeah, I think so. I haven't heard anything else coming up for Colby. And one of the great options for Colby is Tyron. But Tyron's dance card is now full with Gilbert Burns. So it looks like Colby's, you know, at least for now, the short, this could change tonight. But it, it appears that Colby is the odd man out right now. I would predict for you, at least with the information that I have right this second, that possibly he's out because he's just waiting until this Masvidal Uzman business gets done. And whether Colby slides in and he's fighting Masvidal for the world championship, or even if Masvidal gets beat, I mean, what's the difference? And they both lost to the same guy. I mean, there's a history in that too. Two former number one contenders generally meet up. I don't even know that you have to get into the math and the rankings of the whole thing. I think we can just default back to, this is a grudge match that has to happen.